Welcome back. Uh, this is video two of uh, introduction to Bloomberg. Okay. Um, last time we covered news, uh, economic uh, indicators, as well as broad market. Uh, this time we're going to cover uh, bond and equities, and hopefully, with uh, if time available, we can actually carry on and cover the rest of the uh, major topics. Now, the first one I want to cover is uh, bond. Uh, WB, WB uh, is uh, world bond markets. It tells you and lays out uh, North Latin America, uh, Europe, and as well as Asia Pacific. This is a very very um, useful function. You can actually look at it uh, from uh, U curves. All right, you can actually draw into U curves and actually study it a little bit further. Now U.S. Treasury, and if we go to go in further and look at the um, graph them uh, by uh, by a chart, you can see the U.S. Treasury is actually very steep U curve. Um, the, the rate is very low. The two-year rate is very, very low as 0.69, but it actually steepened uh, all the way to 4.6355% for the 30-year. This is a fantastic tool for you to actually um, do analysis and uh, very fast as well. So that's uh, WB for World Bond. Um, the other two that you can use is BYFC. Uh, BYFC uh, it stands for bond U forecast. Now it gives you a forecast into the future. These are based on economic, um, uh, what do you call it, um, economic economist view of the of the um, what the interest rate is likely to be for the bond. All right, you can look up the G7, uh, Western Europe, Eastern Europe, Asia Pacific, and all the way to Middle East. Um, what I like to use this for is actually study the spread. Now, comparing the three months to ten year, and and do a in depth analysis of it. Okay, and you know all of these gives you further in depth information and who, which are the firm that provide this information. As usual, you can click menu. Uh, it's one of the useful function that page to remember. Click menu to go back to where, where you actually originally is in. So you can go study this a little bit further and click into graph and actually it will plot it out for you. Right, so that's a very brief, brief introduction to bond. Uh, the next segment that I want to cover is equity. Uh, one of the fastest way to tell what is actually going in the world in equity market is WEI. It gives you a very very quick rundown on what the uh, world market has been doing. Uh, it tells you the time period or when was it closed, uh, 18th uh, February 18th. Okay, so it's actually up to last Friday, um, if I remember that correctly, and it's been on uh, holiday since. And um, and uh, 21st is uh, yesterday, so. Uh, all of these market, the Eastern uh, Emerging Market, East Asia, are still trading right now. Asia is uh, closed. Uh, yeah, it's actually closed, uh, but, but these are actually a little bit delayed. So if you look at Asia, uh, most of them are closed. You can click onto this and go into a little bit more in depth. Uh, Tokyo is down. Um, Shenzhen, China is all down substantially. Um, and also if you look at... Um, where is uh, Singapore? F FTSC straight times is down as well. So this is a very brief, a very useful WEI to look at uh, what's the world market doing. Now the next thing you can look at is uh, market heat map, M map. If you click onto this, um, <coughs> it tells you where are the actions. Okay, so this is based on portfolio. Uh, we can actually change it um, and look at the uh, equity index. Now this is based on the industrial, Dow Jones Industrial. You can actually look at others if you want to. And at this moment in time, it's, uh, we'll just stick to uh, and, uh, INDU. And um, you can look at this and see how many securities based on all sectors, healthcare, uh, which one has been you know performing uh, based on PE, what is the um, PE ratio has been okay, or, or the estimate uh, PE healthcare has the highest, all the way down to telecommunication. Um, you can also look at other things that is actually in here as well. Right, so there's MMAP. Um, next function that you guys are likely to use quite a lot is uh, Equity Screen. Uh, equity Screen is a very powerful tool, a search tool for you to actually look up what you actually um, want to study uh, in depth. All right, uh, for this. Okay, it gives you a security universe of 585,000. The actively traded are 64,000. So, if first thing you want to do is narrow down, uh, I'll just uh, use an Asia, uh, Asia Pacific example, Singapore. As you drag and drop, 
and uh, select the Singapore here. Okay, the next thing that you might want to do is that you, know, you want to, you want some uh, useful information like uh, PE, price earning ratio. Is that one there? Okay, you don't want price earning ratio, you know, higher than let's just say five. Okay, so. Um, so you're looking for very very cheap stocks and it tells you there's only 91 shares that is actually um, smaller than that uh, or have PE less than 5. The next thing I want to look at is price to book okay uh, look up this ratio again less than let's just say I want to look for one that's less than 1 uh, meaning the price of the company is less than the book value okay so if it tells me okay 62 it narrows down a little bit more okay now it is about this time that I say okay that's enough I'll just go and have a look uh, into what I uh, view the statistics or the view the results okay this tells me the statistics okay of all this information I don't want, I don't want that right now I want to look at the results of my selections okay I can dwell onto it and see okay this these are the few companies price earnings ratio are very low okay price to book are very low as well the market cap how big they are and look at the price and the revenue and also how has the total return been been okay I can go in and study a little bit further but at this moment in time this is sufficient for now to show you the actual functionality of uh, EQS okay if you want to change a few things you can click edit display Okay, and change what you want to what 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 you want to display or edit the criteria. Just now I've input uh, one, two, three criteria here. You can actually change it a little bit further, like by product, by portfolio, by country or domiciles, or even other information. If you can't remember what they are, you can click on the fields. It gives you a lot more options available to you. It's a very powerful tool. You can actually save it and then come back to it later. Okay, so. That's um, <coughs> EQS. Um, sometimes, if you actually want to see what's going on, you can actually uh, what is the, the hot stock? Those that has the largest volume increase is LVI. You can click on the LVI, and it tells you, all right, these are the stocks that has the largest volume increase. It's gone up by two thousand eight hundred something percent. Again, you can actually select the exchange and uh, study a little bit further and find out what hey what's going on. How come the volume changes so much? It's a good way to actually spot hot stock. People are you know something that's going on. Uh, volume usually you know, gives you a lot of information beforehand. Right. EE is uh, earning estimates. Okay, earning estimates uh, tells you what is the actual consensus. You can actually look through all of these. I won't go into it uh, once again because of time constraint. It tells you what are the estimate of the earnings that's coming up. Right, another powerful tool is FA. FA uh, is financial analysis. It gives you a lot of information. You can click onto this and start looking at all of these breakdown say for example I want to look at the income statement um, now I want to look at SIA okay Singapore Airline all right okay gives me all the information about Singapore Airline it actually goes I'll just make this smaller okay it actually goes all the way back to 1991 so you might not be able to see that clearly okay it can actually go back a long period of time and uh, allows you to actually do further much more in-depth analysis so you can also scroll this all the way back to 1991 and see what is the revenue the profit the income and all the way up to today notice that you can look at balance sheet cash flow and all the other many many other things that uh, should you want to actually do further in-depth analysis so that's a very brief uh, introduction to FA. The next one, if you want to know what the company does, just a brief one is DES, description. Description applies to bond as well and uh, quite a few other securities. It's probably one of the fastest and easiest way for you if you don't not familiar with it. And just type DES and it tells you. Okay, let me just come pull back Singapore Airline once again. And let's come down here, select Singapore Airline and type DES. And notice that <coughs> it gives me a very brief introduction of what Singapore Airline does. Okay, what industry it's in. It gives me some salient points about you know what the price has been, how many shares outstanding, what is the one year total returns been, what is the dividend yield, uh, the dividend growth. Okay, this this is page one of eleven. You can actually scroll down and look at many many other things like who are the management right now. Okay, which member. 
uh, of the index um, SI belongs to. Okay, it also tells you, uh, you know, gives, gives you information on financial ratios, uh, shareholder information. You can actually go in a bit further uh, in the later screen. It also gives you a brief rundown on revenue, um, product segments, what uh, different segments uh, is Singapore Airline or do they operate in? You can see that they operate in airline operations, cargo operation, airport terminal services, and it gives you a breakdown of their breakdown of the revenue. Okay, page seven gives you a further in depth by geography. Okay, East Asia is the largest uh, by proportion, but notice that the actual um, revenue has been shrinking quite substantially. Right, okay, page eight is income statement, balance sheet, and uh, cash flow. And the last page here, page 11, gives you <coughs> top shareholders. You can click on PhDC and actually gives you uh, a further, further screen and see, okay, who are the major shareholders? No, Tamasic Holdings hold 54%. So they are the largest shareholder of Singapore Airline. So that's a very brief explanation of Singapore Airline. And if we want to look further relative value, okay, and compare it against uh, a couple other you know, players, uh, Neptune Orient, Singapore Engineering, Airline Engineering. You can compare all the other different uh, companies, how it has performed in transportation in the same uh, sectors, and uh, and see you know uh, see if you can uncover other more useful information. I mean, from a PE perspective, it's somewhere in the middle. Price to book is not too heavy, you know, too overpriced, and is the largest company here at 16 billion. So these are the f information you can actually get from uh, RV. Okay, so you can actually customize it further and also export it to Excel, and um, and you know do quite a few other things with it too. <coughs> so it is at this time that I have to stop and uh, come back to uh, two more um, uh, what do you call segments. Uh, one is uh, foreign currencies, commodities, and fund analysis, as well as technical analysis. This, that will be the third video. So today we'll cover the. Um, Second uh, portion, which is bond and equity, we'll come back to the uh, technical analysis and uh, a few other things in the next video. Thank you.